Talk Shoes. Recorded live. Hello, hello to all. What's going on? This is your host, In the Rain Poetry. I'd like to welcome everybody to Straight Spitting No Filler. Man, it is going down today. I'm very excited about today's show. I hope everybody had a good day, a beautiful Sunday. Got your word in, got what you heard in, and did your thing, man. Now it's, you know, time to get into some of this beautiful poetry. Um, man, I'm excited about this week's show. First off, you know, um, man, this is a, a this is a, a spoken word show, straight poetry, man. We get it in. We keep the mic hot. Um, it, this is definitely uncensored, man. That's the biggest thing I have with this poetry issue. Um, it's uncensored. It's your word. Poetry is poetry. You wrote it. You know what you were writing about. It is not up to me to judge or to classify what your poetry is. So um, with this show, man, that's how it came about, just showing love to the poets, making sure everybody gets a chance to get their word heard. And um, this week, like I said, we got a hot show going on, man. Our 15-minute spotlight artist is none other than Todd Smith, a.k.a. the Life Poet, man. Very excited about this dude, man. Just having the opportunity to watch him grow as a poet is an amazing thing. Um, he's really getting it in. He's starting to find his niche, man, and, and it's going down with him, definitely. Today's show is also dedicated to <clears throat> the National Poetry Month, man, where we're going to really get it in. Um, the National Poetry Month, we're going to kick this show off with. After the, after the spotlight, we're going to kick this show off with. Um, poems for the cause, addressing the issues, man. Addressing the issues one poem at a time. That's what we're going to do. And man, if, if you got to see my photo on my on my promo, man, that was done by Dion Dementor, man. She uh, she does the thing, man, and and I really appreciate her for the work. So check out if you need any type of graphic work. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm I'm so excited, man. I don't know what to do because I just know it's going to be some hot poetry going on. I mean, definitely with this um. Uh, with this um, social issues cause, man. So I hope everybody get to come in and enjoy and relax, man, and just and, and, and get some of this good poetry in. Let's see what I have going on today. I was going to tell you guys about, oh, here it is. Man, I got a couple of emails in. I got a couple of emails in this week, um, some notes, and I'm just going to share this with you guys real quick. Um, here's one from a young lady, Mary, Mary Lowen. Mary Lowen. She says, um, I was so I was cruising through iTunes and, and happened to catch your show. Um, what an outstanding show it is! A lot of poets with a lot of good work, and a lot of poets with a lot of good work, and showing respect and love amongst each other. And I will definitely be into your show to check it out again. Man, that is a, a, a heck of a compliment from somebody. Man, I got about six emails this week, just from people who've heard and listened to the show, the archives and just excited about what we do over here and really it's about you guys you know they come in the one lady actually commented about last week's show um <laughs> yeah she commented about the freestyle <laughs> before she, so, so she just she really liked it she just said it was poetry is supposed to be um you know uplifted motivating and it should be fun you know um, you should enjoy what you do so she was excited about it but man that's how we get it in over here we put it down like I said, we got my boy, Mr. Life Poet, coming through tonight, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to bring him in right now so we can get on this pretty soon. So here we go. Hello? Brother, Brother Todd, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, in the rain, what's, what's going on? What's happening, man? Oh man, just uh, uh man, just chilling, man, and relaxing a little bit, ready to get this in. Uh, um, still uh, tripping on this. Um, man, I've been listening to the archive all week. Just the whole freestyle thing, man. That might have to be dedicated to something one time. But anyway, what's going on with you, brother? Oh yeah, man, that freestyle, man, that thing was hot. That thing was hot, and uh, you know, that, that certainly was inspirational too. To hear uh, Mama O and D. Uh, you know, drop, you know, just drop it, you know, right, you know, right, right off the top of their, their mind. Just, you know, just go, you're talking about straight spitting. That's just what they were doing. Yes, sir. That's yes. what they were doing. And I thank you for giving me the privilege and the opportunity uh, to be the spotlight tonight. And, and I, you know, I just thank you so much uh, for that. You know, I, I, try, I try to tell as many people as I possibly can uh, about your show because, 
you know, it's a place where everybody come and it's a bunch of a uh, bunch of love and uh, a bunch of uh, positivity and morale boosting things that's happening, you know, in their room, whether it's a person or a person that's coming in here that's never uh, did spoken word before and they want to do their first piece or somebody who's seasoned or somebody, uh, you know, is in, in a growing process. So this is definitely a place to be your room and uh and Candace's room. You know, to me that's pretty much, you know, they're an extension of each other. And I try to tell as many people as I can, uh, about, you know, these uh two of the places uh that you wanna add uh uh to your poetry list. Yes, sir, man, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, um first I wanna thank you for uh accepting my offer, man, of coming on the show to be the spotlight. And I also want to tell you thank you, man, for for all the support, man. You know, you've been down since day one, man, and I really appreciate it, man. And uh, I'll sit here, man. I've, I've just watched your poetry, man, just bloom as, as, as you know, daily, weekly as you come around. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm really feeling your pieces. I'm enjoying your pieces. What more I like about it is is your sincerity and all your work, man. No matter what you write, you're very serious about what you're doing. And and, and that's serious, man. And um, I mean, the fam really appreciates you, man, and being around. We talk about it all the time. So, man, much love for that, brother, for real, man. I, um, I, and then, of course, man, your love for your mom, man. I mean, because we all love our mom, you know, but oh, yeah. you're living yours. You're living yours right now, man. And, and I love that, man. I, I, I love it to death, man. And I love your, your, your realness with it. So, Man, like I say, as long as I got somewhere to be, man, you got somewhere to be, brother. You know what I appreciate mean? that, man. I appreciate yeah. that, man. Hey, man, even if we have to ride with four flat tires. Yes, sir, man. Look at him. <laughs> hey, no license plate, nothing, but we going to get it in, baby. Hey, we, we can ride. That's it, man. That's it. That's, That's it. it, man. That's so it, man. Man, man. man, what you got going on tonight, man? I know you're ready, man. You've been working on it, so I know you're ready. Oh, yeah. Tonight, uh, you know, I'm going to dedicate this to the ladies. It's going to okay. dedicate this. Dedicate this to the ladies. Uh, it's going to be, you know, ladies' night. You know, so not for the gentlemen to uh, close their ears, you know. Uh, I'm going to give them some encouraging things, some things that, you know, that they can implement and listen to and do and and, and help uh, put maybe more fire in their relationship or give them more passion or help the ladies, uh, you know, with something. All right, right. Hey, we here live, man. Street spit no filler. We about to get it in. We got Todd Smith, a hey, the, the life poet, man. He he's gonna do his thing. So, Mr. Smith, I'm gonna step aside, man, and the mic is yours, brother. All right, appreciate it. appreciate it. Yes, sir. Also, I, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, spending time uh, tonight uh, for me being the spotlight. Even if I wasn't, you know, I thank you for coming out uh, because this is a uh, the place to be. On Sunday night and uh, Wednesday night uh, with Candace. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a uh, ladies' night dedicated to all the ladies. No matter you know, what color you are, black, white, red, yellow, pink, it doesn't matter. This is dedicated uh, to the ladies that are holding it down and doing the right thing and trying to do the right thing, no matter what they're going through uh, in their personal life. You know? So it's dedicated to the ladies. And the first piece that I'm going to do is called Ladies' Night. And it goes a little, a little like this. Uh, yeah, in the rain, I have a meeting night as my background music. But this piece is called Ladies' Night. And here it is. Dynamite, this is Ladies' Night. Lady, your inner beauty is out of sight. Men, most of the time, they don't want to admit that you are right. Is that a fair assessment? Is it still fresh? Or it's just out of date, or it's just trite. Not quite. Men, when it comes to ladies, we need to be more contrite. You come home after being out all night, she won't answer, but all you do is want to fight. If she did that, what would you do? You would want her answers. You would call everybody in her crew and cry like a baby who's sick with the flu. Men, before you do, continue behavior such as this to lead to receiving papers to sue. 
She dedicates her life to your cause. But you continue to break all the relationship laws. You need to give her a standing ovation and a standing applause. She takes care of you better than you do of yourself. Show her your love. Don't give her a hard welt as if you physically took off your belt to beat her down. She should be surrounded with happiness and joy, risking her body for you to give you a girl and a boy. She irons your shirts. Give her some perks. Washing your clothes. Don't turn up your nose. She cleans up your castle. Don't give her any hassle. Cook your dinner. Don't you know she can make another man feel like that very special winner? Men, fan the flame. Keep it burning, keep it churning, forever learning new ways to brighten her days so she can brighten your life. Be nice and polite. Make it every day, ladies' night. And that's it on that particular piece, ladies' night. Man, I'm, I'm, man, I'm feeling you already, you know. Hey, hey, fellas, uh, if you don't appreciate it, another man will. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, I yes, heard sir. that. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, another sir. man would definitely do that. Because, you, know? <laughs> uh, you know, because he's on the outside looking in. And, and when, he, when he sees that, yeah, he wants to be there. And, we, and when she sees that she's not happy, he's going to ask, hey, what's wrong? How you doing? Let's go out to lunch. Let's talk about it. Yes, you know? He so, so, yeah, so we have to watch out. So the next next piece I'm gonna do is not a poem, but it's just sixty nine ways that we as men can implement things in our relationship, you know, to please our woman. It's called Sixty Nine Ways to Please Your Lover, a man perspective. And it goes like this Hold hands, walks on the beach, sending or taking her flowers, write her love note. Taking her to a special restaurant. I'm not talking about a McDonald's or a Burger King or that everyday restaurant you might go out once a week to have dinner or twice a week. I'm talking about stuffing the game and, and taking her out to the... Massaging her whole body from the head to toe. And don't expect anything from her other than just pleasure in her. If she decides that she wants to go further... Great, fine, fantastic, but it's not just the simple fact that you were there just to massage her body from head to toe. That lets her know. Give her a hug in the morning. Don't just say goodbye when you leave. Or just give her a peck on the cheek. Give her a hug. And give her a hug at bedtime as well. Because you never know when you give her that hug in the morning or at bedtime, that's a possible to embrace her. Call her during the day just to say, I love you and I'm thinking about you. Not calling her to say, what are we going to have for dinner? Did you wash the clothes? What did you? What are you doing today? Just call and let her know you're thinking about her. Romance her. Flirt with her. Compliment her. Send her a card in the mail. She will appreciate that. Write her a letter. Write her a poem. You know, it doesn't matter how good her from you that will let her know. Put something sexy in her purse. Take her out to breakfast or make breakfast for her or even let her be your breakfast. Have lunch with her or let her be your lunch and crunch. Pamper her, love her. Make her feel special. Let her know that she is your queen. Listen to her, protect her, talk with each other. Talk with her. Don't just talk at her. Keep the line of communication always open. Put her above all other women. Make and keep her happy, and in doing so, she will make and keep you happy. Take her out to a play. Take her out dancing or social events. Buy her sexy clothes, even if it's just to wear around the house for just when you two are alone or spending time away together. Buy some perfume. Keep her looking good. Keep looking good for her as well. Buy some sexy lingerie to set or enhance the mood. 
spar her, engage in steamy foreplay, make passionate love to her. Don't hold anger or animosity against her. If she wants, sit down and let her help you think You need work and she needs your house fire. But still, Brother Life, Brother Life, I don't know if we lost you or what, man. You, you, uh, it's like your phone was died out or something, or maybe getting a bad signal, man. All right, man, we're going to see what's going on with Brother Life, man. <clears throat> Give me a minute here. Hey, we lost Brother Life, man, on the line. That's okay. Hey, we're going to still get it in. We're going to still do our thing. We're going to hold it down for him. We're going to tell you guys some, some things going on with the show. <clears throat> man, this is an announcement that I'm making. Before we get, look like Brother Life calling back in. But this is an announcement I'm making, man. This is the last week that we're going to start um, 9 o'clock Eastern. Um, next week, we're gonna, I'm going to definitely try next week to push it up to 8 o'clock Eastern, man, so we can get started a little earlier. But uh, I will get back with everybody during the week about that. Let me see if this is Brother Life calling back in. Yeah, I, I apologize for the technical. I apologize for the technical difficulties. That's all right, man. You you was giving some good information, man. Brother didn't want the women to hear that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so brother told well, you. I don't know which one was the last one you heard. I don't know if you heard uh, "Make Love in the Shower." Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. When she's not feeling well, comfort her. Keep the fire burning. Take weekend trips for just the two of you alone. You don't have to bring the kids every time you go out. Take her to a nice hotel to spend the evening out and stay overnight as possible. Eat out or, and or eat her out as well. Buy her a present just because she is your, your lady. It doesn't have to be for anything other than that. Make her day by taking her a gift on a job. Don't forget the special days like her birthday, Valentine's Day, and your wedding anniversary. How could you forget that? Weren't you there? Value her opinion. Look good and smell good for her. Make love to her from the back. Take care of her now and make sure she is taken care of when the Lord calls you home. In other words, brothers, have some insurance on yourself. Don't leave here having only five or ten thousand dollars just to be put away. Have two or three or four times your income. Have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars worth of insurance on you for her and your kids. Pray for her. Pray with her. Pray for the both of you that God will increase your love for each other and that the two of you will grow closer each day. Thank God for bringing her into your life. Make love to her in a chair. Believe me, she will be surprised. Buy her candles. Buy her stuffed animals. Don't go to bed mad or angry with each other. Make her laugh as much as you can. You know, laughter cures the heart like medicine. Take her to the movies. Have, block, have blockbuster nights at home, just the two of you. Slow dance with her, too. Luther, Barry, or Marvin. Put her ahead of your male friends and your female friends. Check out Camera Sutra. You'll find so many ways you can pleasure each other by checking out Camera Sutra. Kiss her passionately as often as you can. Not just a little peck on the lips or a peck on the cheek. Kiss her like you mean it, as if it's going to be the last kiss that you may ever give her. Or that kiss that you gave her when you two got, when you two got married. The ways are endless. 
on how to please your lover. Use the biggest sexual organ you have, which is your mind. Your love life is only limited to your imagination. And those are 69 ways on how to please, please your lover. Dang, man. Say, Brother Todd, man, that was some good information you were sharing right there, man. Uh, a lot of people need to read that, man, and hear that for real, man. Just in general, just in relationships from, you know, man, just, uh, um, um, wow. I'm still on number 47 because I write slow. So you're going to have to post that so I can go ahead and finish it off, baby. Yeah, well, well those are some of the things that I should have incorporated. You know, you, you know, they say you live and you learn. Yeah. You live and you learn. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but, and when you you know when you know better, you're supposed to do better. Yeah, and and I look at it like this: I figured you had to have been through it in order to be able to tell me. You understand? Oh what yes, I'm sir. Because <laughs> man, I don't I don't want you. I always tell people this all the time, man. I don't want you telling me about something that you have no clue about, man. Right? right. You know, yeah. Uh, 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 you can't tell me about smoking crack if you ain't never smoked crack. Never smoked crack. crack. Uh, that that's you know that's my that's the that's always the that's always the uh, image I use. You know you got these people go down there talking to crackheads. They all college degrees. They never been in the hood in their life. I mean, they mm-hmm. can't tell you nothing about smoking or crack. They know what the that's studies true. say. Yeah, but you ain't never put that pipe in your mouth, and that's yeah. what you can't tell me. You heard know I mean? For sure, for sure, for hey, sure. Man, I, I'm I'm loving it, man. You, I know you got another one for us, brother. Oh well, with the time to me, I got about three or four more. But you know, depending on how much time I have left. Yeah. Uh, this this is called uh, relationship one on one, and uh, I think all these pieces. This is the first time I've done uh, all all these pieces. As a matter of fact, okay. I wrote I wrote latest night. I wrote that uh, this week relationship one on one, and the one I just read. Uh, I wrote them some 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 time ago. Some time ago, but to me, I think they're still uh, valuable uh, advice for okay. today. But right now, this is called Relationship One-on-One. All people in a relationship should hear this. If you are in a one-sided relationship, you are in a wrong relationship. You maybe are having relations, but the other person took the ship and they have sailed. It's time for you to bail before you do something to cause yourself to go to jail. One side relationship almost always fail. The one person is there only to get some tail. Even a blind person can see this and they just read Braille. For some reason your mate thinks the relationship is stale. The love making has slowly turned to a place of a snail. Slow down. You don't even know if you want to inhale or exhale. You never know what you might want to do. The good life you had imagined has now been derailed. Your feelings are badly hurt that you feel as if you have been impaled. You do all this as much as you can. You go to try to fire back, but it alls to no avail. They keep their feelings confined without giving you any details. Finally, you find that they are having and they're sending and receiving spicy emails. You read and read and read, but you can't take it anymore. Then you just wail. Thinking to yourself, what can I do to get my lover to cease and curtail? The pain is cutting deep, so deep, like a woman in travail. Recalling those so-called jokes about how you are getting as big as a whale. They have gained as much weight as well. Matter of fact, if they continue to gain that weight, the next scale will be at a truck stop. This is one-on-one for all who were born as a male. Advising you that one-sided is almost done to the female. Are you just still in the relationship trying to prevail? If so, that's so dumb and you're stupid, just like Dan Quayle. Remember him? He's the one that put the E on the end of potato. People don't use other people. Just let them go. If there's been said that the relationship is supposed to be 50-50, if that's the case, 
Are you holding back trying to be nifty? Each person should give 100%, pool their resources to help pay the rent. If the passion is gone and the sparks are too, dig deep inside for the reason. Don't just let or just be there or just hang on there and commit sexual treason. Every day is now always a sunny day. Some days are full of fun. Before you get involved, think seriously about relationship one-on-one. Unfortunately, some don't, and they were shot by love's shotgun. That's relationship one-on-one. That's life. <laughs> Well, like man, they man, Mama Queen, man, they really feeling you in that chat room, man. I, I, I mean, I told you, man, I, 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 I've seen it, man. I'm, I'm just watching you, man. And since the first time I've heard you, man, you just, you can see the passion and these right that you're giving, and, and that's a great thing, man. For real, Thank you, man. You know, I'm, 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 I'm trying. You know, I'm, I'm learning from uh, all you guys, uh, the ones that's in the room, uh, you, yourself as well, and other poets. And you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm learning. It's, it's, it's uh, uh a growing process, you know, and I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. You know, poetry, you know, even you can have the best message, but you, you have to feel it. It has to come from inside you. And when it can come from inside you and, and, and you're having fun and you're enjoying doing it, uh, other people can feel that uh, as well. Even though, you know, we're, we're poets, you know, we're, we're in the entertainment business. We're entertaining. We have to entertain ourselves first and be happy at, at, with what we do and, and, and continue to raise the bar and uh, by listening to other poets and, and, and other works and, uh, you know, while, while we continue to grow as well. Yes, sir. Now, if I have, if I have time, if you can allow me, I have two more pieces. I don't know how much time we have left, but if I, if yeah. I can do maybe this one right here and I can come back and do the last one. Well, you know, however, however you want to do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, hey, we got time for you to squeeze one more in right now. So do oh, okay. thing, but you know we okay. all night. So yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I have two, but if you know, if you, I can just do this one, and you need for me to come back later on. You know, whatever, whatever you decide. This, okay. This well, one is called. This one is called chivalry. Is chivalry still alive or is it dead? If it's dead, who killed it? Was it the feminist movement that was about female improvement? To get better jobs and equal wages, teaching ladies to be independent and strong. And they don't need a man to depend on or lean on. Wanting their voices and opinions to be heard and respected. In past times, they were rejected. Their rights should be accepted and protected. Did this movement go too far? Was that the dagger that landed in chivalry's back? Some ladies even say, I don't need a man for anything. I can go out and buy my own house and buy my rain. I keep fresh batteries to satisfy my need. Don't need to see his STD papers, see what they read. I can open the door and help and get help all by myself. Was this their mentality that called chivalry near a final fatality? Or did we as men cease being gallant? Is chivalry lost or forgotten talent? Our fathers teaching their sons to be chivalrous are men today devoid of chivalry only trying to feed their own lust is chivalry is the era of it was just frivolous no longer opening doors to the car but gladly opening your legs to spread so they can put their key into your ignition is that their mission blowing the horn so you can come outside to get in their whip didn't even come inside to introduce himself or say hello. No, he just skipped. Took you out to dinner. You waited for him to get your chair. He looks at you with a blank stare. Does he care? Or is he just unaware? As you just look and stand there. Chivalry contains virtues such as mercy, courteous, compassion, fairness, politeness, thoughtfulness, and more. Willing to establish a good and honest rapport. Just because a man has it, that doesn't mean he's a boy. These are qualities exhibited by a knight in shining armor. Without these, he's just a snack charmer, trying to farm your heart and feelings with his looks or his words. Thinking chivalry is for the birds. Perhaps he's only two-thirds 
absurd. You need the other one third. Don't settle for less than 100% by taking only a segment, thinking later that he will augment. He doesn't. Now you vent because he circumvents. Maybe that was his true intent. Ladies, a man with little to no chivalry, to him, don't relent. Be patient for someone who is heaven sent. That's it on chivalry. Wow. Brother Life, Brother Life. Man, I like that, man. 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 I'm just trying to give some advice for, you know, for us all, my, you know, myself included, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, that sir, poem you, like that poem you said, you know, you. You know, when you were throwing it out, it, you know, it hit you on your toes, too. hit you on your foot as well. <laughs> exactly, man. You know, I'm going to so step on some toes, even my own. You know what oh, I'm yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, yes, I, got, sir. I got one more if you don't mind. I got one more if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, man. We'll okay. let you get in there right. right now, man. All right, thank we'll you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, this is dedicated to the ebony lady, ebony woman. Uh, you know, I love and respect all women, no matter what color or what they are. But this is especially for the ebony woman because by far, I think you guys are, you know, pretty much at the at the bottom end of the totem pole uh, in respect of how the world treats you and think of you. And even, even we as uh, black men uh, treat you. But this is called ebony woman, and it goes like this. Not just one of God's greatest creation. She is, in fact, the greatest creation of all. Inspiring everyone she comes in contact with. This beautiful smile on her face is captivated. It permeates throughout wherever she goes. Been known to curl a strong man toes. She's comforting, and her smile relieves all woes. Her touch can make a mighty man weep. Says positive things. Every time she speaks, the ebony woman stands tall and proud. Even when you offend her, she doesn't get loud. Ebony woman is loving and always true to her man. If it were not for her, sometimes we as men, we could not even stand. She is there to assure and comfort her man. It's instilled in her because she follows God's plan. She doesn't fight against him being the head. Gives him good loving. Doesn't deny him in bed. The ebony woman will quit her career if it makes things better so her man can concentrate fully on moving up the corporate ladder. Men realize you are the head of your house. Love her. Respect her. Cherish her. Be a man and not be a louse. As you lead her safely through life, being submissive to God, this is why she lets you take the leading part. She knows by you letting God be the chief. She doesn't have to worry about you being a thief. The Indian woman must always be appreciated and revered. Has been through so many mean and cruel things, but she's strong. She perseveres. The Indian woman will do all it takes and more to make a happy home. She will give her last just so a man can go out and buy wheels of chrome. The ebony woman, so fine, so elegant. She is a daughter, a mother, a great aunt. The ebony woman is not abusive and will not taunt. The ebony woman is something that all men want. Ebony woman was put here on the green earth. We love you. We need you. You greatly enhance our worth. Your spirituality brings real life conceptualization into reality. For when we were blind about your precious love, it opened up our heart to reveal what we never knew of. Every woman, stay forever true and apodictic to yourself. Do not grow weak. A special man is looking for you, traveling the globe to seek. The ebony woman faces adversity, setback, and defeat. She gets back up as quickly as she can. She knows she can't be beat. When things are not right in her life, she may still wait all night to weep. Study so hard so she can advance. She's not dense. She's very, very deep. Ebony woman, you are loved beyond measure. God gave us 
God gave us to you to permanently treasure. But you are an infinite and priceless treasure beyond measure. Your valuable is worth more than the greatest pearl. Every woman, you will always be exceptional in our world. And that's it on Ebony Woman. Man. Brother Life, Brother Life. Man, I tell you what. Man, we've had the guest feature all the night, man. 15-minute spotlight artist, Todd Smith, a.k.a. the Life Poet, man. He's been getting it in, man, teaching a lot, man. Uh, it's good to hear you, man. I appreciate you accepting this opportunity, man. And uh, we're going to definitely, man, get it in tonight. You know, it's going down. So we're about to have a blast in here. Oh, well, thank you so much, man. It's been, it's been my pleasure uh, for giving me this uh, opportunity uh, for coming on your show and uh, and share some things. Like I say, ladies night, man. Ladies night. It's about the ladies. It's about the ladies, man. If it wasn't for them, where would we be, man? Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Ray. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Appreciate everybody that's, that's in the room. Thank you. All right.